okay uh, let's start this video uh, first let's, let me show you the contents uh, uh, here i will implement a low pass fir filter to remove white question noise present in audio signal then i will show you that how you can implement the uh, graphic equalizer for 10 frequencies uh, with help of graphic equalizer you can uh, give very sound effects such as uh, pop rock jazz uh, vocal metal etc to the audio signal then uh, we will implement uh, echo effect a very popular effect for uh, sound signals and then flange effect and in last i will show you the river effect uh, in simulink before watching this video i recommend you to watch my previous video whose link is given in the description in this previous video i have implemented all these uh, effects uh, using MATLAB in place of Simulink. So let's start with our first model. This is our first Simulink model of implementing the low pass filter. Here we have implemented uh, an FIR low pass filter and let's see first uh, that from where we got all these blocks. Uh, the from multimedia file and this low pass filter uh, we got from DSP system toolbox and from multimedia file we can also uh, get from audio system toolbox. Uh, this random source and this time scope and audio device writer uh, we got from DSP system toolbox and this manual switch uh, we got from Simulink uh, signal routing. Actually uh, this switch I have placed here. Uh, to switch between the uh, noisy input and the uh, denoised output of low pass filter so we can uh, clear, clearly differentiate between input and output of uh, low pass filter. So let's see uh, how this model perform in uh, Simulink. So let's jump to Simulink. Uh, this model I have already uh, uh, made in the uh, Simulink to save the time. Uh, uh, let me uh, show you that that what happens if you double click this multimedia uh, file block so when you double click it you get this dialog box uh, from browse uh, when you press this uh, a system dialog box appears and from where you can uh, select any of your audio file for uh, filtering uh, the samples per audio channel this is 1024 so uh, leave it as it is and now click this random source in random source, uh, the source type is Gaussian. As I said, uh, we will let the Gaussian uh, noise uh, mean is 0 and the variance is 0 0.001. Now, sample time. This is very important uh, uh, to uh, uh, know that what should be the sample time. Uh, look uh, this uh, from multimedia block here. Uh, you can see that 22,050 hertz is shown here. It means it's a sampling rate of this uh, selected audio file. So, uh, in random source, you have to write the sample time in accordance with the sampling uh, frequency of this uh, selected audio. So, since here sampling frequency is 22050, uh, so sample time here will be the 1 by 22050. And this samples per frame again uh, should be same as what we have written in uh, this block, input block. Otherwise, uh, there will be uh, a simulation error and uh, now let's see the what is inside this low pass filter so double click it you get this dialog box here uh, you can select either fir or ir fir means finite impulse response and ir means infinite impulse response uh, here you can select your pass band touch frequency uh, i have selected here 9.6 kilohertz then it's a stop band touch frequency this is 10.4 kilohertz and the maximum pass band pill in dB it is 0.1 and the stop band attenuation is the 90 dB here and the sampling rate for filter design I have selected 44.1 kilohertz if you want to see whether uh, this filter is realized or not you can press this view filter response so let me press it and see what happens <coughs> yes uh, you can see that filter response frequency response so it is nice let me close it okay and now it is ready to simulate here switches initially 
uh, at the input so uh, when uh, the simulation start uh, you will listen the noisy input first then during the simulation i will uh, switch to the output of the low pass filter so you can get the denoised uh, output so let me open the time scope and uh, this is the time scope from time scope you can uh, uh, run the simulation so this is the green button pressing it the simulation will start the discrete fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric uh, this is input. You can listen to uh, lots of uh, background hissing noise because of uh, the wide Gaussian noise we have added. Okay. Discrete Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric. The discrete Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric. The dis this is output. I have uh, uh, manually uh, switch. Uh, this path and speaker is connected to the low pass output okay so let me start the discrete fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric the discrete fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric the discrete fourier transform of a real okay so uh, in this simulation uh, you can easily differentiate that uh, uh, how the uh, low pass filter is uh, uh, reducing the input uh, gaussian uh, hissing sound from the audio signal uh, you can implement other uh, filters also uh, you can choose uh, high pass band pass uh, and notch filter band stop etc uh, they all you can find from the dsp system toolbox depending on your requirement so now let's move to uh, the next effect uh, uh, which is uh, the graphic equalizer so this uh, graphic equalizer uh, i hope that all of you are very aware with this uh, during uh, uh, music play back uh, using either a hardware player or software play player uh, generally this facility uh, is, uh, is given where you can boost a particular frequency or uh, you can suppress a particular frequency to create a desired effect uh, such as uh, uh, pop rock jazz uh, metal etc so uh, uh, here uh, you can also do the same thing so let's see uh, from where we got these uh, uh, blocks uh, from multimedia file again we can get from dsp and audio system toolbox and uh, this audio device writer uh, from DSP system toolbox and this graphic equalizer you can get from audio system toolbox so let's see how uh, this work uh, in simulink so this i have already made so this is my model of graphic equalizer uh, this is uh, as i uh, in previous uh, model i have shown that you can select any uh, audio file from multimedia file using browse button and here i have selected uh, mp3 song uh, which has 44.1 kilohertz uh, sampling frequency it has some bitrate and it's stereo stereo means it uh, it has two uh, channels of audio right so let me see what is inside this graphic equalizer block so let me double click it okay uh, here you can see that uh, uh, EQ order. EQ order is the equalizer order. Uh, I mean, the uh, there are various filters which are used to uh, either suppress or boost the gain of a particular frequency. Their order is two. And bandwidth, uh, we have selected uh, one octave. You can select others also. Structure, we have parallel structure of filters. We have cascade structures of filters. So I have chosen parallel here. And these are the frequencies like 31.5 hertz, 63 hertz, 125 hertz, and others. And uh, the highest one is a 16k. And uh, this is the slider by which you can either boost it to plus 20 dB or you can uh, suppress by minus 20 dB. And 0 dB means uh, uh, unity gain. You are passing the frequency as it is. So let me press OK. Uh, okay, uh, let me uh, start the simulation.
okay uh, you can see that uh, by sliding those uh, sliders you can uh, create any effect so this was your graphic equalizer so let us come to the next model uh, the next model is uh, the eco effect again very popular effect uh, here uh, in in eco uh, you can see from this uh, block diagram uh, that uh, uh, how we can create the eco we can create eco by adding the uh, delayed version of input to its original input so the upper line shows that the input is going as it is and uh, uh, the input is tapped from here and it is delayed by some delay let's say 2000 here and then some gain is adjusted and it is added back to the main audio stream so by this uh, you can uh, create eco effect so let's see uh, from where uh, we got these blocks uh, this is from dsp system and audio system toolbox this is uh, audio device writer from dsp system toolbox this delay is uh, uh, from dsp system toolbox and this uh, slider gain uh, you can take uh, ordinary gain also uh, slider i have taken because during runtime i can uh, uh, change the gain by sliding in the slider so i can show you the effect and this you can find from simulink math operation so let go to the simulink and see uh, how this eco is working so this is my eco model uh, i have selected uh, an mp3 file of uh, speech uh, and the samples per audio channel is 1024 uh, this it is a mono audio it means it has single channel uh, its sampling frequency is 44.1 kilohertz and 128 uh, kilobits per second uh, it its bit rate uh, let me click this uh, delay block uh, which you can get from uh, dsp system toolbox so here you can set the delay for example delay length i have set here 4000 and keep other things as it is and uh, now let me uh, uh, run this uh, model before running uh, let me do the slider gain to zero uh, when i uh, do zero it means uh, no delayed version will be added to the mainstream so you won't uh, have eco effect so during runtime i will uh, slowly uh, uh, raise this uh, gain and you can clearly have the effect of uh, uh, eco so let me start this uh, simulation the discrete Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric. The discrete Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric. The discrete Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric. The discrete Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric. The discrete Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric. Yes, uh, uh, here you could. Uh, uh, clearly listen that when gain was zero uh, then there was no eco as i increase the gain uh, from zero to one uh, the eco effect uh, took place at one it was the maximum so let's see uh, the another model uh, in another model again i have uh, uh, simulated uh, the same eco but uh, this is in real time so real time means as you can see in this figure that your mobile phone is connected to your laptop uh, via audio cable and the song is being, uh, uh, being played on your mobile phone and you want to uh, give the eco effect to that song and want to listen from the laptop uh, speakers so you can do th uh, that in real time also uh, the model will uh, remain uh, same uh, for this real time only this input block will change now in place of file reader now it is audio device reader which will read your uh, sound card port uh, here uh, I will use the line input of my computer uh, for audio uh, reading uh, let's see uh, how, from where these uh, blocks uh, we obtain so this audio device reader you can uh, obtain from uh, audio system toolbox and uh, these blocks are same you can get it from DSP system toolbox and gain is from uh, Simulink math operation so let me jump to simulink to uh, simulate this so eco real time so this is real time model 
uh, before uh, going for simulation uh, let me uh, uh, see what is inside this audio device reader so let me double click it so here uh, you have to select the input for example see this device so when you click this device you have uh, inputs to uh, select for example since i am using the line in port so i will select the line in of my sound card so line in sampling rate is 44.1 kilohertz and uh, uh, number of channels i am using one you can use two uh, depends on your hardware and the samples per, per frame uh, let it remain as it is 1024 okay so it is ready to be simulated but uh, before uh, simulation let me connect my mobile phone to my line in port and then start playing the song in mobile so i am pressing this uh, simulation button at the same time uh, pressing the play button in my mobile just inspire me but also so many others to work harder to be better and to make a dent wherever we can so i'm very very proud to be standing alongside of you so in life you know there are moments when you stop and ask yourself how did i get here like why am i standing here well this is definitely one of those moments for me and i find myself going back to the beginning back to my roots I was, I was born, born to incredible parents. parents. Okay, uh, so you can uh, listen uh, the uh, echo effect in uh, real time. So let me uh, come to the next uh, effect. Uh, the next effect is uh, the flange effect. Uh, another very important uh, among music lovers. Uh, here, uh, uh, if I compare uh, this flange effect with the echo, uh, it is almost same instead of having the uh, constant delay uh, as in case of echo here I am giving the variable delay uh, in the signal. So here you can see that uh, this upper line through the upper line the signal samples are going as it is and uh, we are adding the delayed version of uh, uh, input samples but uh, this delay is not constant as in case of echo uh, this delay is uh, variable and this variable delay here uh, in flange effect we uh, create with help of a, a very low frequency sine wave so uh, this delay is not constant here uh, this delay is actually varying uh, in accordance with the shape of a uh, sine so that means uh, sometime it's low sometime it is high sometime it is zero so uh, uh, let us uh, see uh, uh, from where uh, we got these blocks uh, this is from again dsp and audio system toolbox uh, this sine wave uh, uh, we got from uh, uh, dsp system toolbox and this variable fractional delay uh, and this uh, de device writer uh, we uh, got from dsp system toolbox and this constant uh, we got from uh, simulink and commonly used blocks so let's see uh, how uh, this perform in uh, simulink so let me open the simulink and the flange effect okay so this is my uh, flanger model so uh, first uh, let me uh, open this uh, dsp sine wave block so when you open it uh, here uh, you can give the amplitude of the sine wave which is 15 right now its frequency is 0.5 hertz you can see it's a very low varying frequency 0.5 hertz and keep other things as it is now sample time this is again uh, very important so how to get the sample time uh, the sample time should be in accordance with the input uh, file so here uh, in from wave file you can see that uh, the sampling is 44.1 uh, kilohertz so obviously the sampling time should be uh, 1 by 44.1 kilohertz uh, for this sine wave block and the samples per frame uh, you can take 1024 you can uh, take 512 depending on the strength of your hardware if your uh, hardware is fast enough then you can take large otherwise uh, to keep things uh, uh, running smoothly uh, sometimes we have to reduce the number of uh, samples per frame and uh, uh, let me uh, open this uh, variable fractional delay uh, which you get from uh, DSP system toolbox so here interpolation uh, mode is linear 
uh, so no, no need to change it the maximum delay in samples it is 200 so in this case i have given 200 and uh, let me do okay and now let me start simulation okay uh, from this audio uh, you can uh, clearly uh, uh, listen that uh, uh, variable delay uh, that how uh, uh, the delay is shifting in manner of sign uh, from low to high high to low and low to high okay so this was a flange effect uh, now uh, come to uh, the next effect the next one is the uh, uh, reverberation uh, which is uh, in short known as a river so here uh, uh, we have a uh, feedback in previous those uh, two examples of eco and flange uh, there was no no feedback loop it uh, uh, there was only the feed feed forward uh, here uh, we have a feedback of samples so the input stream x n let's say is coming and we are getting uh, the delayed version uh, which is x n minus 2000 and then it is uh, uh, getting fed back and added to the mainstream right and uh, then output is again uh, the gain is adjusted uh, this is the feedback gain 0.5 and this is feed forward gain and everything is uh, again being added to the mainstream xn and then we are uh, hearing the song so let's see uh, from where we got these blocks this is from dsv system and audio system uh, this slider gain as we have seen it is from math operation assembling delay uh, sorry this device writer from DSP and the delay from DSP system toolbox. So let's see how it performs uh, in Simulink. So let me open the reverberation. So this is a reverb model and I have chosen a, a wave file of uh, guitar electric guitar and uh, samples per audio channel is 512 and let me start the simulation. Okay, uh, uh, you could see uh, uh, the reverb effect uh, uh, in this audio. Uh, we can uh, uh, change the effect by uh, changing this uh, uh, feedback gain and we can uh, change this slider gain during the simulation. So let's see what happens. By changing these uh, gains and this uh, delay, you can uh, have a different uh, environment simulation. Uh, I hope th uh, that you know what is reverb. Reverb actually uh, is uh, creating an artificial environment of uh, uh, such as your uh, room, hall, uh, pub, or some stadium, etc. So with these uh, parameters, you can uh, uh, simulate your uh, artificial environment for music playback. So. Uh, uh, we have seen uh, various uh, models, uh, simulation model for giving sound effects. So that's it for this uh, video. Thank you.